Hey guys, what is going on? This is Game Chat here. I'm going to do a quick review of Evil West. Uh, the majority of the gameplay you're going to see is going to be either from trailers or from the first level in the game. Uh, I might also throw some um, other weapons in the game that you unlock throughout. So, not really too many spoilers unless you count, you know, weapons that you get through progression as spoilers. Which... I'm sorry if you do, because I already spoiled that. So, I, I wanted to start by saying that Evil West was a game that took me about 12 hours to beat. I enjoyed it throughout. It was really fun, you know. I'm sure you guys have probably heard some things like it's a video game, it's a video game. And it really is. Uh, you kind of just walk down the path, you go where you need to go, and you're into the next scene. You can pr pretty much tell when you're going to get into a fight with enemies. And if you go off the path for like two seconds, you get a little bit of loot and it actually helps it's worth it and you know the the two second detour literally sometimes that you take uh, off the beaten path of the main story is usually worth it in the rewards that you get whether they be cosmetic or sometimes you'll be getting blueprints for different weapon upgrades or character upgrades yourself which is going to lead me into some of the main points of the game that i have written down here which is uh, first is going to be there's always an introduction of new mechanics so throughout the game as you continue playing with new missions, new levels, you're going to be getting new mechanics in the game, and I think that's a pretty big deal. In 12 hours of gameplay, pretty much throughout, there's always something kind of new to do. Not really like something so new that it was like groundbreaking, but like just a small little thing like punching an enemy into a barrel that would kill them, or shooting a TNT box. Something like that, something along those lines, there's always this tiny little thing that you could do and it adds to the complexity of the gameplay so that by the end of it you can string together crazy things because you have all these things in your repertoire that the game has introduced. So I think that that is um, a really good point that I don't see too many people making about the game. On top of that, there's always an introduction of new enemies pretty consistently throughout the game and that evolves with bosses. So it goes from just normal sub-enemies being introduced as bosses to by the time that you pretty much get all of the main enemies out of the way then the bosses start varying so it does keep that pretty fresh uh, the story uh, overall is pretty fun I mean, it's not like the greatest writing of all time but it is fun and that's what it's supposed to be it's not a full price to game if we're going to go into that section real quick of how much should you pay for this game honestly I'm going to say that you probably should get it on sale I think it ships at 50 bucks so you should probably get it at 30. I mean, 12 hours of, you know, gameplay probably only constitutes $30 or so. Because it is good. It is, like, a very well-polished game. And it runs amazing. That is another point that I wanted to make. The game pretty much runs flawlessly. did have a weird little loading um, glitch. But I had to verify some files on Steam. And that was fixed immediately. So, yeah. You can run this thing probably on your gaming laptop very easily without it sounding like... A jet taking off the next point I wanted to make with the graphics were good like I said with that um with it running well the graphics pretty much did hold up to a modern day standard especially for this type of game it was fun to look at pretty much throughout the next point that I want to make is that there's instant action this is the first level that you guys are seeing in the game I'm gonna throw in of course some bits and bobs so you guys can see the scenery throughout so at least you guys can kind of understand that you know the set pieces in this game are very pretty they're fun they're cool to look at but you you jump right into the action uh immediately and you start just pretty much the whole flow of things quickly so there's not like a really hard training session to get through you don't have to sit there and be super annoyed with oh it's you know a 60 hour setup it obviously it's a 12 hour game but it there's the setup it, it is immediate you don't have to worry about that the next thing that I want to go to is the characters. The characters are pretty fun to interact with. You don't interact with them at all. I totally lied about that. But they're fun to watch the cutscenes. Um, there's a decent amount of animated cutscenes, and the characters are pretty fun and funny throughout. So that's something that you guys could, you know, look forward to. I don't think, like um, I kind of said earlier, it's not like the greatest thing of all time. They're not super fleshed out. They're not going to win any awards. But they're definitely not bad. If anything, they're on the good side of everything. The next thing that I wanted to point out about this game that makes it definitely on a buy list for you, somebody especially when it's on sale is that the UI is really easy to understand and I think that that's something that goes a little understated in a lot of games 
it's very simple. There's like three menus. There's upgrade your guns, upgrade your guy, and dress up your guy. And that's the end of it. That's all that you have to worry about. It's very straightforward. It's not hard. It's not stressful. There's not a million things that you have to do. It all makes sense. It's streamlined very well. Now, the bonus content that I wanted to talk about that was very good about this was there's a little bit of um, lore about it, which is funny for a 12-hour game that they've introduced like a tiny little bit of lore. The world does make sense, and the lore is actually kind of fun to listen to, and it's really short. I'm saying like you could probably get a good 16 hours out of this game if you just kind of take it slow. So the lore, solid. The cosmetics, I mean, it's nice just to have options for cosmetics in this game. They're very few and far between, so don't get too excited about that, but they are there. I mean, it's better than nothing, even though it's almost like, hmm, what could have been? The cutscenes, like I said, very well animated and plenty full throughout to keep everything kind of fun. Uh, pushing for the next cutscene is always a game trope that was fun growing up, so it's still fun today. Another thing that I said earlier was that the set pieces are really cool, and I do want to emphasize that the locations that you end up going to in this game are very on theme and very fun. So I think that you'll probably have a good time with those different type of situations that you find the main character in. And the last thing, uh, kind of in the bonus section that I wanted to talk about, was the autosave system that it uses. The game runs pretty well with the autosave system, and it gives you that kind of timer. So if you go to leave the game, it'll say, are you sure your game is saved for a minute? So it's not that bad. It's probably just the cutscene timer, right? But sometimes you can come back and be like, oh, the game hasn't saved in three minutes. And you're like, oh, I should just like go forward a little bit so that I don't, you know, lose some of the progress that I made. Because it would just be a little bit tedious just to come back into it. Not that three minutes is a big deal, but it does give you the timer for when the last autosave was, which makes everything pretty easy. So, yes, that was my attempt at a quick review of Evil West. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate it on a scale from 8.3 to 8.6, really depending on who you are. Obviously, you're not getting, like, a super huge game out of this, and this isn't some game of the year extravagant, insanely groundbreaking, genre-defining RPG. But it is a really fun game. It's very action-packed, and depending on who you are, it is really going to depend on what rating you're going to fall on. I think that you definitely should buy this game, and the lower the price, the more value you're going to get out of it. I would probably recommend getting it at below $40. So, whatever you can do. I, I, I honestly wouldn't steal the game. It is a 12-hour game, so please don't steal the game. I think the devs really earned this one, and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun. I don't think that there's much wrong with the game, other than it's kind of short and obviously linear, which it's kind of hard to compete with modern-day gaming with that setup, but that is completely fine. I think that this was necessary for the genre, and I hope that they make a second one. And I hope that you guys come back and watch my next video, because I am out. Peace.